Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope your Saturday is treating you very well. Today I have another great case study with you today and you know what? I'm sure you guys have been in those situations where you've done everything right in terms of the repair and for some reason the car is not running and it just doesn't make any sense. Like you've done everything, you know, according to uh, you know, service manuals and stuff. So this is kind of one of those situations, but luckily we were able to come to a conclusion as to what the problem is. And I just want to share with you those uh, steps that we took. Okay. So today I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot a front camera view uh, relearn procedure and error code B1008 on a 2019 GMC Yukon with the Maxi Sys Ultra. Okay. And for those who are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Curtis Harden. I'm an Autel Diagnostic Consultant. I align people with the right tool and provide the services and training that you see to those clients that you're going to see in this presentation. So if you would like that, go ahead and make a consultation with me. I'll be more than happy to help you out. All right. So here's what you're going to do. The tools and equipment required to do this procedure. Second, the function route and how to calibrate the front view camera. Third, what to do when your auto doesn't have the function that you're looking for. And lastly, learn the framework on how to diagnose the B10084B error code. Okay, the tools we're going to be using today are the my now I'm going to make a full disclosure. This particular client in this demonstration is using the Cardac 3 Plus. And the reason why is because when he acquired his Ultra, he didn't actually know this was a J2534. So he heard the Cardac 3 Plus is um, uh, J2534, which is a, it's a very good one. And that's why we're using it, okay? Um, next, you need your battery maintainer, Windows 10 laptop, and service information, and uh, diagnostic software from the OEM okay so this is a little about a little bit about what happened um, the client is a mobile uh, programming technician he focuses on the auto body repair industry the vehicle wasn't an accident and I know components were replaced it wasn't like a heavy accident however he did tell me that the uh, on the windscreen like the mirror the rear view mirror was like dislocated I don't know if that happened due to the accident. I'm not 100% sure. Um, and when he put everything back together, um, he scanned the vehicle. He got this error code, which indicates that the module needs to be relearned. And after several attempts to configure it with the Maxxis Ultra, it failed. And that's when he gave me a call. All right. So my first step was to attempt to execute the procedure with the client. Okay. So that's what we did here. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is obviously do a fault scan just so I can A, visually see what faults are there and B, it allows my engineers to look at the health of the modules if I have to submit a data login. Okay. So from here, we're going to go ahead into the list view and you can see um, under the active safety control module, there's the B1008 error code. Okay. So I'm like, all right, let me just clear, you know, what codes are there. And if it pops back up, then obviously that's something that we need to investigate. Okay. So we have that there and we are going to go back, click escape, and we're going to try to do this ATIS calibration. Okay. So once we're in there, you can see here, um, there's the, the fault and we're going to go ahead and attempt to do the procedure. All right. So we're going to select the removed and reinstalled the front view camera module. Is that what we did? Didn't replace it. All right. And these are just preconditions that we need to do. Now, what I want you to pay attention to, if you look at the bottom here, okay. Note, starting the learning procedure will delete the learn value. Once this procedure is started, it must be complete. So I'm thinking that the car is still in a learn mode and we, we can't get around that. All right, that's kind of what we concluded. 
So we're gonna go ahead and click OK. Are you sure we do the calibration? Yes. Now this selected function is not supported. So I know some of you guys have done this and it could be two reasons why, okay? The first reason could be, which is very unlikely, is that this function is not supported by the ECU, but I highly doubt that in this situation. The second situation could be is that it's probably not communicating to the module. Like there's been multiple times where I've diagnosed a vehicle and I've seen this option come up here and when we put on like the old module, it communicates, you know, like, you know, so it could be that it's just not talking to the ECU properly. Okay. So what I decided to do was exit out of here and uh, submit a data logging. Okay. Go ahead and uh, click that. And then we'll submit the data logging. Error code while performing special function. Click OK. And I'll go ahead and put that information right there. All right. So th this is beneficial because we can obviously get my engineer's expertise and they can see things that we can't. OK. So that's done. And now we have to uh, think of another strategy. So the client wanted me to actually flash program the module and his logic was maybe that could, um, what's the word? I don't know, reset the module or, you know, get it to work properly. So I, I told him, I said, you know what? I, I really don't like flash programming stuff without uh, being instructed to do it. But I said, you know, what? it wouldn't hurt to check. All right. So we're here, I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward this a little bit. Okay, all right, so here's the main screen. We're gonna go ahead and click reprogram. And then we're gonna click the next button on the bottom right. All right, I'm just gonna fast forward it a little bit. Okay, so here on the left, you can see all the different modules. And then the one that is going to be the one we're going to be doing is this B174W front uh, view camera wind, windshield. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. All right. This will take the VIN slot. So this is just letting us know that if we program this, this VIN number will be in our AC Delco account. So we can program it later. All right, so you can see here. The 84303533, that's the new calibration number. All right. And we're going to click next. All right. There's what we're going to be doing. Now watch this. On the top here, this is getting the service, the files from the manufacturer. Okay. And that went through. Now, once it's been downloaded, it needs to write it to the ECU. But it was taking like longer than usual. And I said, dude, something isn't right. And you can see here, it says retrying attempt number one. It'll do like number two. And it, it, wouldn't, it wasn't going through, which I find very, very strange. Okay. So I, I had a, a gut feeling that, you know, this something's up with this module. You know, so I went and I did it again. We're going to go back, try to program it again. And you can see same BS, retry and retry and retry and retry. Okay. So that didn't work. Two strikes. <laughs> so what happened was, um, the client has a buddy. He actually works at GM. He's like one of their master techs. And he said, uh, there is a function called a cancel camera learn function. Okay. And the Altel didn't have it. So that's um, by making the move to, uh, I guess, flash program it. I think that's what my client was looking for. All right. And I found this out later. We just didn't know if it was going to be in the programming side software of the OEM, or the diagnostic software of the OEM. So I said, you know what? In don't give up yet. Let's download 
GM's diagnostic software, and I'm almost positive that they'll have it, okay? And that's pretty much what we did. So this is the screen here, okay? And let me go ahead and play it. We're gonna go ahead and pick our J box. All right, and uh, click enter. All right, and you can see here, I think we're gonna go to configuration and reset, I believe. Let's see, we're gonna scroll down and look for the camera module. Where is it? These things are like right in your face. Okay, there we go. B174W. There we go. And then we're going to click uh, configuration and then cancel camera learn. Okay. Now my screen's tripping, but I want you to look at this. Conditions not met. When you see this on even the scan tool, this is a good indication that the component is having some sort of like hardware issues, okay? If you're doing any type of coding with the Autel, you'll see something and it, if it will fail, it'll say condition not met. So that's another indication that, um, that this module might be problematic, okay? And then, um, let me stabilize the screen here. This is the option here, okay? This is, you can see on cancel camera learn. All we need to do is just click this button here and it should relearn it. But as you can probably see, um, every time we try to click it, it ain't doing nothing. It ain't doing <laughs> absolutely nothing. So I'm like, dude, something's up with this module. And my client was like, Kurt, I, I, I don't see why, like the thing wasn't damaged, but I'm like, look, what you need to do as a technician is to ask questions, find out like, you know, who, how many people were in the car, what, what, what happened? Like, you know, cause then that way you can kind of replay the, the damage, you know, you, it's like see some CSI type of stuff, you know, but all that, all that Intel helps you, you can, you can kind of clearly see, um, maybe what happened. So the next thing I tried to do was, um, uh, I, I told him, let's just try to do the front camera learn here, okay? And um, we tried to do that, but it, it just wouldn't let us. Let me see. All right, front camera calibration status not calibrated. Let me see. Yeah, we tried that and it didn't work. Didn't work. So that's basically it, guys. Um, the, the, the thing that I want to just point out is like sometimes when the Autel doesn't have a certain function, um, if the manufacturer offers their diagnostic software, uh, go ahead and use that. Like that's probably like the highest level of certainty you're going to get. Okay. Um, so that was, that was that. Now on to the next slide. Um, the outcome. All right. So what I did was I checked the TSB. The TSB did have some uh, information on that specific error code, but it was more of a visual type of inspection, which, you know, um, we did all the due diligence and that was fine. Um, the OEM software didn't work. It didn't accept the calibration attempt or the reset. So I was determining that the, the module was faulty. And to support that, I looked up the error code and uh, it told us, if you get this error, flash program it. If that doesn't work, then the module needs to be replaced. That was on the OEM information, okay? So that's what we had to do. We had to actually replace the module and at least we were able to get to the resolution, you know? Um, which is, you know, a success in my opinion. So, what did we learn today? Re when removing components, especially the sensors, keep in mind that they may need calibration even if the module was not damaged. If you just take off a sensor, it loses its configuration. So you, you have to do that. And that's, 
Um, that's why ATIS is very, I guess, popular. Be not popular, but it's it's important because there's a lot of different modules on the car, okay, and they all need configuration after they've been removed, okay. When attempting to do a front camera module learn and it fails, attempt to do the reset function with the OEM diagnostic software, okay? And then if that fails, check the OEM information on the B1008. And then if service information instructs you to flash program the module and it fails, that means your module may need to be replaced, okay? So with that guys, I'm gonna wrap it up. I hope you enjoyed this presentation. If you are looking to start a career in ATIS and you would like for me to, you know, be a little helping hand, go ahead and book a consultation. I'll get you scrubbed with the right diagnostic tool strategy. And, uh, you know, maybe one day you can be a, a case study. <laughs> okay. With that, guys, have a blessed week and I'll talk to you later. Take care. Bye.